Hello, my name is Ada and I'm the founder and CEO of Skill Crush. And I'm Randall. Welcome to Skill Crush TV, where we give you the resources and answers that you need to build a career in tech. You know what's awkward? When you walk into a job interview and the person interviewing you assumes you've had the job before and asks you questions like, what would you normally do in a situation like this? Or how have you handled this kind of situation in the past? And you are like, this is awkward. Because you've never done the job before. One of the things I really love about tech is the way it's open to beginners. If you put in the time and the hard work to learn web design, you can land a job doing it. How are you going to get through your very first interview when you have almost no experience to prove that you really know what you're doing? How will you know what to expect in the interview? What questions will they ask? Should you pretend that you've been doing this for a lot of years and you're some kind of old hack? I get it. Learning HTML and CSS is a huge step that you should be really proud of yourself for. But sometimes learning to talk about those skills can be even harder, especially if you're interviewing with experts. I put together seven common interview questions that web designers get, and I went to grill Ada to see how she answers these questions. Ada, what is your design process? What questions do you ask a client when you're starting a new project? Before I even start a design, I like to ask the client where they want the user to end up. Is it a sales page, a contact page? Then I take that information and I use it to start building out user flows, which I do in pen and paper. I also like to ask the client who the user is, and that allows me to start to develop a user persona so that I can design everything with one person in mind, which allows me to be super focused on delivering and meeting the needs of that one person. I then like to do wireframes and mood boards, and I do the mood boards in Photoshop and the wireframes in Omnigraffle. Then I start to actually code the site. I'll do that on my local computer, but I'll always back it up on GitHub. I also like to ask clients what their overall budget is and how much control they're going to want over the site once it's launched. Ada focused on her process, mentioning the orderly approach she uses in every project. She avoided discussing her limited experience, which is a plus, and she managed to show the employer that she understands what a workflow is like. She slipped in important words like Photoshop, OmniGraffle, and GitHub so her employers know that even if she's never worked on a team, she knows how it will go. Ada, how would you characterize your design style? So my design aesthetic is super colorful with a lot of clean lines. And I like to use like big, bold fonts. And then also for fun, I tend to bring in some whimsical elements like a script font. That said, I really, really focus on making sure to adapt my design aesthetic to the style and the brand of the client that I'm working for. Bosses will appreciate that you have a unique style, so it's good that Ada mentioned her personal style, but they'll want to know that you can adapt to a client's needs. Ada, how do you communicate your design to developers? Once I have a lot of information from the client, like mood boards, user personas, wireframes, and all of that good stuff, then I like to put together a package that sort of serves as a style guide with fonts and things like that, just to do a final check that me and the client are on the same page. Once I've done that, I go ahead and code up the site using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Since I'm also familiar with Ruby and PHP, I also like to make sure that my sites are easy to integrate with the back end. Party! Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just so excited that Ada knows how to talk to developers. Ada, what do you do when you feel like a project might be going over budget? I like to contact the client early and often. I like to be crystal clear about exactly what services I'm going to be providing and what deliverables I will be sending. If I think the project is going over in budget or scope, I'll let the client know and make sure they sign off before I go ahead and do the additional hours. Ada shows she wants clients to be happy, but she's not afraid to take control of a situation before it gets out of hand. Bosses love employees who don't have to be micromanaged. Ada, how do you handle tasks when you're pressured for time? I learned early on to never cut corners in the design process. Even though mood boards and wireframes can feel like they take a long time, you'll save so much time later on in the project if you've done them. 
When there's a time crunch, what I like to do is work with the client to really clearly set priorities about what needs to happen and when and focus on the most important tasks first. Bosses love to hear that quality is important to you. Even if you've never worked on a team, you can use examples from your work to prove it. Ada, how do you stay in the know about current design trends? Oh my gosh, there's so many amazing websites out there. I love Smashing Magazine, and I also love to go on Dribbble to see what everyone else is up to. I also follow a bunch of designers that I like on Twitter, and I'm subscribed to a whole bunch of amazing industry newsletters, like the HTML5 newsletter, the JavaScript newsletter, the Hey Designer newsletter, and of course, the Skill Crush newsletter. She does her research, and she has connections in the field. So did these answers help you get an idea for what you can say in a job interview? Is there anything you're still worried about? Well, I want you to do these three things. Number one, find a job listing that interests you. Number two, write up a list of questions you think they'll ask. Number three, tweet us at Skill Crush or post on our Facebook with questions you're worried about. Now, if you're pumped about going into your first web designer interview, then I want you to share that excitement with your friends. Web design interviews for rookies seven common job interview questions and how to answer them. And if you have any questions, shoot me an email because I love email. You can email me at hello at skillcrush.com.